Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today I am in Atlantic City. Right now I'm in my room at the Ocean Casino and Resort, but if you look really close all the way down there on Oriental Avenue, you're going to see a pizzeria called Tony Bologna's. We're going to visit it right now. I get a lot of recommendations and suggestions from you guys, and Tony Bologna's was one of them, and I'm sorry, I don't remember who exactly, which one of you suggested Tony Bologna's. Leave a comment below, and I'll be more than happy to uh, give your comment at least a shout-out, because it would be too late once this video is uploaded, but uh, it was a great suggestion, and I'm going to take you guys along on a trip. We're going to head down. We're, like I said, in the Ocean Casino and Resort. We're going to go down to the boardwalk and head over to Oriental Avenue, which is one or two blocks up from the beach, and we're going to check out Tony Bologna's. Now, you guys know I love pizza, and I've been searching for a really good slice here in Atlantic City, and I've visited a few places. I plan on visiting a lot more, but I visited a few, and they all left me, well, I guess you could say lukewarm. What intrigues me about Tony Bologna is how creative they are with their topping. So in any event, let's head on over there. Let's get down to the boardwalk. We'll take a little walk, head over to Tony Bologna's, and check out that pizza. You ready? This is my let's go for a little walk and order a couple slices music. Hold on tight. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. I didn't think I'd make just a beeline to that pizzeria without uh, stopping off at this beautiful beach on the way, did you? Not me, man. I mean, pizza is really important, but not as important as living life and enjoying this beautiful planet of ours. So it's the beginning of May here on the Atlantic City Boardwalk and we're waking up from a uh, very sleepy winter here on the boards and uh, things are starting to pick up. Now the boardwalk doesn't really pick up until June, definitely July it hits its stride. Um, but I can tell you right now that I've, I'm visiting Atlantic City probably once a week, maybe twice a week. 
uh, and the hotels and casinos themselves are starting to pick up. I recently checked into the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and there was quite a line at the registration area. So like I said, things are picking up inside the buildings, inside the hotels and casinos and the restaurants and all the attractions. The boardwalk, not so much, but give it another couple of weeks and this place is gonna be mobbed. And I think Atlantic City is gearing up for a record-breaking summer. And for those of you not familiar with Atlantic City or first-time visitors, we're at the very northern end of the boardwalk and right here on uh, Vermont and Oriental, I think that's the intersection we're at right now, is Tony Bologna's Pizzeria. By the way, Vermont and Oriental Avenues, both on the Monopoly board. The menu here at Tony Bologna's is quite extensive. They have pies and subs as well as all different kinds of fries. And like I said, they're very creative here. So the toppings are unbelievable, very unusual. Things like, a, well, they have the classic cheese, of course. And they have a King Louis pie, which is French onion soup pizza without the snobby attitude. French onion, caramelized onions, dry aged mozzarella, gruyere cheese, and parsley. They happen to have that here today, so I ordered that. And uh, they have, well, you can just take a look at this menu. Magic Mushroom, Winger, The Ruler, Adios Mac. Um, I did or also order the Heart Attack Slice, which they only had one slice left, and that's kind of like a, um, a buffalo chicken mac and cheese on top so we're gonna check that out as well the prices you see on the menu here for the pies are uh, there's three different prices one is by the slice the second is for a 12 inch pie and the third is for an 18 inch pie now I have to tell you there's a couple tables inside and a few outside on the sidewalk but the majority of the business going on here while I was eating my slices was takeout and all these people I'm sure are coming from the hotels and casinos, at least on the northern end of the boardwalk. Um, and as you walk the boardwalk, you can see people with the very distinctive Tony Bologna's pizza box. Here's that distinctive Tony Bologna's black and white pizza box featuring uh, food items as well as casino items. You see people carrying this box up and down the Atlantic City boardwalk. And now for my two slice big reveal, the King Louis slice and the heart attack slice. As I try to once again one-handed folks. Oh my God, they both look delicious uh, as far as the tops are concerned. But as you guys know, the bottom of a slice is just as important as what's on top. First up is the heart attack slice, which is buffalo chicken, macaroni and cheese, as well as bacon and ranch dressing. And it's a massive slice. And most slices at this point would be flopping around. This one is holding up. That's the sign of a good crust. This uh, is not a lightweight slice. This is pretty heavy and it's just standing out. And uh, I just can't wait to try it. Okay, it's good. It's really good. Uh, the big standout here on this slice is that bacon, but um, there's no shortage of ingredients on either of these slices. They don't make, uh, they don't cut corners here at Tony Bologna's. There's lots of chicken, there's uh, lots of bacon, and bacon ain't cheap these days, and uh, that ranch dressing really seems to cool things off as far as the buffalo uh, chicken is concerned, and I'm really enjoying this slice. And keep in mind, it's not just buffalo chicken and some ranch dressing and bacon. This is buffalo chicken mac and cheese on a uh, slice of pizza that holds up quite well. I've always said all these fancy schmancy toppings that you get on pizzas are only half the story. The other 50% is in that crust, which 
a lot of people don't pay attention to, but it's so important. The crust has to support the toppings and it has to be tasty. And this crust is uh, not only supporting the toppings, but it is extremely flavorful. You can taste the oven and that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. When you can taste the char on the bottom of a crust and you know that it's been baked in an oven that's been uh, pretty much baking thousands and thousands of pies. Look at that, the toppings weigh a ton and this crust is not giving one bit. So this is the King Louis slice. It's French onion soup pizza without the snobby attitude as the menu says. French onion soup, caramelized onions, dry aged mozzarella, grenier cheese, and parsley. I love French onion soup and I have to say the onions topping this pizza slice tastes just like French onion soup. Very beefy, very caramelized, the, the flavor is just like French onion soup. It's hard to explain French onion soup on top of a pizza, but that's what I'm eating right now. And as always, at any given moment, I try to respond to all your comments whenever possible. The New York channel now has a new feature called Super Thanks. If you're watching this video, just look a little bit below the video and hopefully normally where you click on that thumbs up, Look a little bit to the right and you'll see a new button that says thanks. Clicking on that thanks button will give you, the viewer, the opportunity to leave a very colorful and noticeable highlighted comment on the video that you're watching, which will be pinned to the top of all other comments. And as my personal thanks to you, you'll receive a uh, one-time animation while you're watching this video above the video. As again, a uh, personal thanks from me to you for giving me a super thanks. And of course, super thanks aren't required. They're just a great way to show me and others who are watching these videos how much you like to support the channel. So my two slices here at Tony Bologna's were really good, but I'm just starting to get my uh, pizza on here in Atlantic City. So I'm going to check out a lot more places and see if anyone's got better pies. And I'm, I'm sure there's better ones out there and I'm sure there's a lot worse out there as well. By the way, the two slices cost 10 bucks total. I think the thing here in Atlantic City is if you're looking for a really good slice of pizza, you have to get off the boardwalk and out of the hotels and casinos. And I know there's lots of people out there who would say, I would never leave the hotel or casino, or I would never leave the boardwalk in Atlantic City. It's way too dangerous. And that's simply not true. Historically, Atlantic City has a very low crime rate compared to other cities in the US. And uh, I plan on investigating lots of places off the boardwalk this summer, as well as hotels and casinos in the boardwalk. But I plan on uh, reaching out into this city as uh, the summer approaches and checking out lots of new places. And I uh, encourage you guys to do the same as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.